Well, today the UN General Assembly uh, condemned uh, President Donald Trump's administration for declaring Jerusalem the capital of Israel. Uh, the vote was pretty strong uh, against the United States, 128 to 9 with uh, about three dozen countries abstaining. Well, the vote took on added uh, significance uh, after a series of threats by uh, Trump and his UN envoy, Nikki Haley, uh, suggesting that the US might cut aid to countries or to the United Nations itself if the United States were condemned for this decision. Uh, it's tough to say what effect that had. This was always probably going to be a loser for the United States uh, every year. Um, the United States uh, has, has struggled to carry uh, Israel's position in UN votes. Uh, so I think they were braced for this. Um, the question of what it means for Trump's relationship with the UN is an open question. I mean, Trump and other officials have talked about the UN uh, bearing an anti-Israel bias and they have plenty of, of evidence to, to back that up, given the UN's focus on, on Israel over other conflicts. Um, will he take that out on the UN? Unclear. Uh, there, there's, there's consequences with uh, allies, uh, as well as uh, on the ground in you know, parts of the world that need US support if the U.S. were to suddenly yank hundreds of millions or billions of dollars, uh, um, that may not be in the U.S. national security interest either.